Hey everyone, Andang here for another episode of the Epic Story. When we last left off, we were here in Pelennor Fields and just taking on everything, and it's a huge mess here, but that's okay because it's getting ready to become an even bigger mess when we fight Goladir. We Gulladir. have to find Goladir before it is too late. Alright, let's go. Find Goladir and save the day. We have to find Goladir before it is too late. Okay. Miguel did not repent the words he spoke to Goladir, but he did tell me which way he seems to go. Here, to this encampment of orcs. We may yet find Goladir, if we hurry. Quickly, we may not have much time. Very true. Alright, take out these orcs real quick. Love that skill. It just keeps getting better as my allies keep leveling up. Dang, there's Goladir. Goladir! Here we go. Run away, young little man! I will not run from the like of you. Oh, man. That is a pity. I could <laughs> use the sport. I have ended the lives of so many. Dang. Perhaps not. But I will be satisfied to give my last removing you and your master from this world. Oh, man. What? Still, that is amazing. I That's just awesome. They did such a good job with that. Oh, man. Oh, epic. No, <laughs> it's painful every time. Gola, dear. Oh, man. Gola, dear, you poor fool. Foolish? I do not think so, my old friend. I was tormented by Mordereth for years. At last I will escape him mm. and go beyond his reach. Despite his broken body, Goladir smiles at you. I am satisfied, Stefting. If the Gondorians know what they speak, then my death will see Mordorith defeated. Cornir, my friend, when this war is over, I ask that you ensure safety for Winda. Goladir is quiet for a moment. When he finally speaks again, it is for the last time. It is enough. For me to die thinking of Loniel, as I always. He is gone. I do not know what to do, Staff Deng. Cannot stay. We must go. Friends gather to remember Goladir, but there is little time to mourn. Man. It was an honor to call him friend.
Goludio has his vengeance, and now he will have his rest. None have earned it so well as he. He endured so much in the high chambers of Khandoom, and in the months since he escaped that city, that he was never free of the false king until today. No man here would have questioned his loyalty if he chose to remain in the North. Each of us would have understood, knowing what he suffered, and knowing that it was enough. But Goldia knew his duty, and did not seek to count it fulfilled by his hardship. Nay, he journeyed with the Grey Company, and all the same, it was an honor to call him friend. My heart desires to mourn Golodir, but there is not time for that now. I will not say that Golodir should not have come on this road, Staffdang. I will not shame his memory by wishing that he had stayed behind. It was his duty as he saw it, and performed it with dignity and without question. He will always have my gratitude. But I keenly feel the sorrow of his loss. My heart desires to mourn Goladir. But I know that there is not time for that now. The battle continues, heartlessly, never caring for the friends we have lost. That is one of the cruelest hurts. But we must set aside our grief and go on, lest we lose that for which they fought. I cannot believe he is gone. I... I spent so much time on this journey, worrying about what he was feeling, and worrying about what he had endured, that I gave little thought to myself. But now... There, there is just emptiness. What do I do? You take Cornier's arm and speak your own quiet words. Words of grief, words of comfort, words of duty. None hear them but Cornir, and when you finish, he nods. You have seen sorrow too, Stafteng. I hear it in your words. I will think on what you have said, and I thank you for saying it. But Aragorn is right. The battle rages, and it will not wait for us. It is time. What does it mean to fight, Staffdeng? I will fight to honor the sacrifice of those who no longer can, to honor that for which they fought. I will take the field with you, and I will make the enemy remember my fallen friends. Tell me when you are ready, and we will make them fear us. For Goladir. Let us take the field, Staffdeng. For Goladir. Man, the feels! <sighs> Fight this onward! The battle part. is not yet ended. This part is so good. Oh, man, we got horn now. Staffdeng, I have not seen you since the morning, and I feared the worst. We have a brief respite now, but it will not last long. I have seen such horrors, so many good men lost. There has been so much death today. When will it be over? I will fight until my chief tells me to stop. My own king fell on this field. And now I have another. You will fight for him, I warrant, until this land is made safe? The time for such questions is over, my new friend. Our enemies try another assault. Here we go. The battle never ends. This young ranger, this Halros, is able to do his duty without questioning it? Did I ever have that strength? I know that is what is expected of me, 
And I come here to prove it, but... If I was more like him, would I be able to fight on this field without regret? It weighs me down, even as I know why I must fight. But so many have died, and still the hosts of Mordor pour into the plain. I thought I could protect Nona and our child from harm, but I see now that there is no hope of that. There are too many evils arrayed against us. Your limbs are held by a powerful force. You are unable to The might of Mordor was not thwarted. It was merely redirected. Give that guy a raise. Kill them all. Oh, dang. Halros. You show great strength of will, but it will not matter. It's because will is my main stat, buddy. All right. Time to fall. Oh, man. Pool of lava. All right, Crumb Graham, let's end it here. Once and for all. There is no time to mourn, Stafting. We have to find Aragorn, for I fear he has gone too far ahead and may become surrounded by his foes if we do not aid him. Oh man, Gothmog. You are a long way from home, Dunatan. Who are these others? And why have you come? These are my friends. And my kin. Yeah. That's right. We have come by dangerous roads to put an end to you and your evil. I am afraid you have wasted a journey, for I cannot be ended. My will is tethered to the pitiful Ranger Gonadir and to this world. While he lives, I cannot be slain. Oh, dang. <laughs> what is this? You are a fool, no matter what name you wear. Explain yourself before you die. Goladir is slain. He came south to the aid of Aragorn, our chief. He felled the Ulog Thrugrath and died. No! He suffered such grief! How can it be? How did he muster the strength to come forth? Whoa! Whoa! Servant of Sauron, hearken to me! There is no future for you, or for your master. You know my name, and the name of my mighty ancestor. So too do I know yours. But hearken to me, Gothmog, and Mordorith, and Aeanur. I have come out of the years of darkness to defy your master and all Dang. for which he stands. Sauron will fall. And Mordor will perish, and you will know the darkness of true oblivion. The dawning of a new age is upon us. Be gone, for there is no place in it for such as you. Be gone! Dang. <laughs> Cobra Commander. All right. Halbarad, my loyal friend. 
I am glad I was able to see. There is too much sorrow on this field, Staff Deng. Gothmog flees, and my anger will follow him. But this is not the day he will pay for the hurts he has caused us. Let us make for the city, Staff Deng. I have lost too many friends today. Mm. The battle's over. We've had victory. If that's what you can call it. We have the victory, but it has cost us so much. The battle is over, save for a few pockets of fighting on the outskirts of the Pelennor. Even those will soon be done. We have achieved victory this day, but it has cost us so much. The city stands, and Gondor remains unbowed. Things might have gone differently, Staff Deng, were it not for many sacrifices. The city stands and Gondor remains unbowed before the might of Mordor. I am weary in both body and spirit, weighed down by sorrow. There is anger too, anger at the forces of evil that have taken so many of our friends from us. But it is sorrow I feel most strongly at the end. Of this terrible day. Okay, so Aragorn does have the quest for the next book, but first we need to talk to the survivors here. Ah, oh, man, I love how they just set up the cavalry here. Looking so good. Look at that. They did such a great job with this whole update. So much death. So many lives lost. And for what? The armies of Mordor are repulsed, for now. But who can say that they will not return? Is this the victory we bought with all of our dead? Good men will no longer return to their homes, and for what? A day of peace? A week? I... I cannot believe this is so. The ranger Halros took the death blow that was meant for me, Stafteng. I spoke only a few words to him, but now that he is dead, did he leave behind a wife, a child? What chain of events put his feet on the path that ended here, on the blood-soaked Pelennor? Is that truly to be the end of his tale? Is this to be the end of mine? Horn wears a haunted expression, his unblinking eyes glazed with tears. He does not seem to see you any more. I thought I was a man of Rohan. But if this is what it means to be such a man, I cannot bear it. That man is dead. Horn died on the Pelennor. And I will cry no tears for him. The old songs are just songs. They were never more than lies. I see the truth now. I am saddened to hear Horn speak this way. I heard his words, and my heart goes out to him. But I am saddened to hear Horn speak thus, Staff Deng. Where is the man who spoke to me of fighting for home and hearth? Of fighting for the glory of Rohan, and the honor of Theoden King. Where is the man who made the hard choices to leave Nona behind, and make her world more safe than it was? But Theoden is dead, and many others beside. I no longer recognize the horn that spoke to me on the road from Rohan and assuaded my own doubts. That horn is dead. That horn is dead, slain by the horrors of war, if not by its weapons. I do not want to forget that man, Staffding. 
I want the world to remember Horn as I knew him once. I want the world to remember every man who died here. Harding of the Wold, Goflaf, the banner bearer of Theoden, hot tempered Fastred, and doughty Grimbold. They will be just names to the folk that come after. But to me they were men, good men who fought and died for the promise that their land would once again be safe. It was that promise that Horn tried to explain to me, but I did not understand it then. I think I understand it now. I will remember the names of the men who died here today. I do not want them to be forgotten. Lots of options now. Let's talk to Emmer Hill first. This is a hard day, but we have victory at the end of it. During the battle, I encountered men bearing the body of Theoden back to the city. They carried to a woman, Eowyn, niece of the king. They thought her dead, but I perceived that she lived. I sent them to bring her to the healers instead of the dead house. Her life is in their hands now. Dwin here is overcome with grief for his sons, and pays no mind to your words of comfort. Who can say how long this victory will last? The battle is nearly over, Stafteng. But who can say for certain how long this victory will last? My uncle and my liege has gone to his father's, and I rejoice that his last day was filled with glorious deeds. Many beheld the might of the mark on this day. Emir grows quiet, and when he speaks again, he speaks in a low voice that only you can hear. I will be king of Rohan now. Is it merely hope's fancy that I believe the curse of Renegade has run, and is now ended? Much grief followed in the train of Fingel. His kin died, and his kingdom fell from honor. But Theoden King lifted Rohan once more to the height, and mended the might of the mark. Can you say it is not so? Sleep easy, Renegade. You have been paid, and under the rule of Aemir, no such injustice as was done to you will be done again. Well done! Well done! We have pushed them back for now. I am just happy to be off the ship, Stafteng. I was not made for the sailing life. Indeed, I was still a little queasy for several minutes after we arrived at the field of battle, and was not at my very best. The fighting set me right before long, but I hope wherever we go next, the journey will be by land, and not by river. Gimli's just getting the short end of the stick all around. He had to go through the paths of the dead, and then he had to go on the boats with crazy people all the way through, and so Gimli's just having a tough time, I think. Have you seen Deowina? Stuffding, can you tell me if you have seen Deowin? He is a man of Rohan, yellow of beard and hair and ponytail. I met him during the battle, and we fought side by side, but I have not seen him since the early hours of the morning. You tell Sakalbar that Derwin was slain when the Witch King descended upon Theoden. I feared that fate for him, Stafteng, but I feared that fate would not be so. Alas for Lady Winsing of Rohan. I wish it had been different. I'm glad to have met Derwin and call him friend, though it be but a few minutes during battle. 
It is cruel of war to make us bid farewell to friends so soon upon meeting them. I think Gothmog will find he values his life more highly now that it can be lost. He will not dare to come forth in battle for some time. During that time we will need to determine our course of action. But I do not know what is best to do. We need time to heal from our hurts and to mourn our dead. We cannot take much time for it, and certainly not as much as they deserve. But still, we must. Aragorn smiles wryly. Galadriel saw much of today, I think. But our actions and our choices still have meaning. Nothing is set. Your deeds today and those of our fallen friends means much to me. Thank you for your courage and your loyalty, Staff Deng. I take neither for granted, and I appreciate them both. It will take both if we are to defy Sauron as we defied his servant Gothmog, and put an end to the evil he brews in his dark land. I salute you, my friend. Let us heal our hurts, let us remember our dead, and let us think of tomorrow. There is still much to be done. The battle is all but ended now, my friend. I'm surprised they don't remove the to be continued, considering that, you know, there's now the story again. I think that would make sense, but anyway. The battle is all but ended now, my friend. Jump astride the horse over there, and it will speed you from these killing fields, taking you to the aftermath of the battle. I will speak to you again once we have established a pavilion at which we can plan our next step. I do not think it would be right for me to enter the city at this time. So we're going to just randomly get on a horse and ride around the battle plane for a little bit doing nothing until you build your pavilion. Okay, Aragorn, sound plan. Mm -hmm.